Today we're installing a Madjax light kit designed for a G22. This is a basic light kit and it does not include the ultimate upgrade kit. In the kit is the harness with the push-pull switch, your passenger side tail light and headlight, driver side headlight, tail light, and paper instructions. To do this, we're going to use a 9 16 wrench, a marking pin, a 7 16 drill bit, a number two Phillips tip, cordless drills, a cutting tool, and safety glasses. Now let's get started. First step we're going to do in installing our light kits is feed your harness down through the battery well. You want to make sure that your harness stays up above the frame so it doesn't snag. We will secure it when we're done installing the light kit. Now that we have our harness run, we're going to install our lights. The light kit comes with a template. This is the passenger side or the right side. We have it taped off. We're going to take a marking pin and trace a line on the inside of our template. Be sure to retain your template. We're going to flip it over and use it on the driver's side. Now we're going to use our safety goggles. We're going to pre-drill out a hole and then cut it out with our cutting tool. When cutting the hole out for your headlight, be sure to go to the inside of your marking line. You can always come back and take a little extra if needed. Now we're going to repeat this process on the driver's side. Now that we have our hole cleaned up and our light bezel fits, we're going to attach our headlight to our harness. We're going to install the passenger side first, that's the red three pin, and attach it to the cowl using the screws provided in your kit. We're going to repeat this step on the driver's side. Now that we have our front headlights attached, we're going to move on to the rear. You'll notice we've already attached our template, which is included in your kit, to the driver's side of the cart. We're going to take our marking pin again and trace out the inside of the template. Be sure to cut to the inside of your line and take off as you need it. Use our safety glasses again, drill a pilot hole. Be sure to retain your template. We're going to repeat this process on the passenger side. Now that we have our holes cut out, we're going to attach our rear tail lights uh, on the driver's side. So you'll notice the white pin. Now we're going to repeat this step on the passenger side and then we're going to install our switch. First thing we're going to do is remove our cup holder. Now we're going to take a tape measure and we're going to mark our center point on our cart on the driver's side of the column. You can put it wherever you want but this is where we're going to put it on this particular cart. Now we have our mark. We're going to take our 7 16 drill bit and drill through our dash. Unscrew our knob. As you can see, we've removed one nut from our switch. Now we're going to feed our switch through the hole. And using the nut that we unscrewed, we're going to tighten our switch up. Reattach our knob. Now that you have your switch installed, you can reattach it to your light kit harness and reinstall your cup holders. Now we're going to attach our kit to the battery pack. First thing you want to do is switch your card into tow. Now if you have 12 volt batteries, you need to use a multimeter to find one single 12 volt battery and attach your light kit to that. If you have an 8 volt system like we have here, continue watching on how to install a reducer to your 16 volt battery hookups. This will drop it down to 12 volts and it won't burn your lights out as quick. Once you have your kit hooked up to your battery pack, you can now secure your harness under the cart to the frame using the zip ties included in your kit. Once that's done, you're now finished installing your Mad Jacks light kit designed for a Yamaha G22.